Don Juan said that my body had noticed our pursuer, in spite of my stubborn opposition, and assured me, in a confident tone, there was nothing unusual about being followed by a shadow. It's just a power. These mountains are filled with them, like the one that scared you the other night. I wanted an explanation of why he called it a shadow, when obviously it was not like the shadow of a boulder. He replied that both of them had the same lines, therefore both were shadows. He pointed to a long boulder standing directly in front of us. Look at the shadow of that boulder. The shadow is the boulder, and yet it isn't. To observe the boulder in order to know what the boulder is, is doing. But to observe its shadow is not doing. Shadows are like doors, the doors of not doing. A man of knowledge, for example, can tell the innermost feelings of men by watching their shadows. Is there movement in them? You may say that there is movement in them, or you may say that the lines of the world are shown in them, or you may say that feelings come from them. But how could feelings come out of shadows? To believe that shadows are just shadows is doing. That belief is somehow stupid. Think about it this way. There is so much more to everything in the world that obviously there must be more to shadows too. After all, what makes them shadows is merely our doing.